This mouse can't close its eyes or wiggle its little whiskers. Molecular geneticist Mario Capecchi says that's due to its genetics. It's lost the ability to control its facial muscles, similar to a human condition called Mobius syndrome. These muscles allow you, for example, to smile or to frown or to open and close your eyelids, even to uh, shed tears. Uh, all of the things that you normally would do with your face. This gene comes from a big family that was once a single gene. Almost like splitting up work in a factory, genes evolve by splitting up and specializing over time. Kapeki was the first scientist to reverse this process. What we're doing is we're recreating the same gene that existed before that gene was duplicated and then acquired completely new different functions. Kapeki's team studied two genes which split around 530 million years ago. One gene now controls facial muscles while the other controls the development of the brain. By splicing these two back together in mice, Kapeki reconstructed the ancient gene that could do both. As they reported in the journal Developmental Cell, this ancestral gene restored the mice's ability to close their eyes. Kapeki's work advances our knowledge of evolution. Rather than theorizing that you start out with a single gene, here we're giving you a very concrete example and exactly what's happening at the DNA level. Helping scientists understand the complex beings that we are today, even down to a simple smile. I'm Brad Closer.